So, Aunt Mabel, what are we going to study today? Today, we are going to learn about subject-verb agreement. Sounds familiar, but refresh my mind, please. Sure. Now, a verb in a sentence must always agree with its subject, be it in number or person. So, in simple language, a singular verb must always go with a singular subject. And a plural verb must go with a plural subject? Correct, Marvin. However, there are some exceptions, but we'll go into that a bit later. Now, for now, let me give you a sentence in the singular form so that you can see what I mean. Now, let's take the three of you. Marvin, Zerida and I. That's right. And here is the sentence. Each of you has a unique talent. Oh, I got this. Although there are three of us, which is many, the word each of you is considered singular, so we have to use the word has, which is a singular verb. You are right. Now, let's look at other similar examples. Among the cities we visited in California, I think San Francisco is the most unique. San Francisco is singular, so we have to use is. The singular verb must agree with the singular subject. That is right. Now, let's look at other similar examples. Yes, every city is unique and has its own history, but San Francisco has something magical about it. Okay, here. Every city is a singular subject, so it must go with singular verbs. Is and has. Every city is unique and has its own history. Correct. Now, try this. You know, everyone has the dream of doing something sometime. Everyone is considered a singular verb, so we use has. That is correct. Now, let's look at some examples using the plural subject verb agreement. Yeah, Gus and I have been waiting to hear about your experience. <laughs> Piece of cake, Gus and I are plural. So we have, we have to use have, just like we used has for the singular subject earlier. You are right. Now, here is something that Zurida said, and I like her lines because it uses both the singular and plural subject verb combinations. Altogether, there were eight of us on this trip. The, apart from us, there was, there was one girl from Czech Republic and another girl from China. Two boys were from France and two boys were from Russia. Wow, there were quite a few examples there. Let's take the first line. There were eight participants, so that's a plural subject. So we have to use the verb were. Good. Next, she mentions one girl from the Czech Republic. So we use, we use the singular form of the verb, was, to go with the singular subject. Right again. And in the third sentence, I talk about two boys from France. So that's again a plural subject and must have a plural verb to go with it. Were. Two boys were. good kids. So boys and girls, throughout this lesson you have seen some good combinations of subject-verb agreements. Let's look again at what subject-verb agreements mean. A verb in a sentence should always agree with the subject, be it a number or in person. This means 
a singular verb must go with a singular subject. For example, everyone has, every city is. And a plural verb should go with a plural subject. Like, all cities are, Gus and I have. And also remember that some words may seem like plural words. Like for example, committee, which is what Zurida used in her report. These are called collective nouns. Mm. Like group, team, organization. And as always, remember, the more you use a language, the better you will be in it. Bye!